Well, hi, everybody. Having a little bit of trouble getting live today. Somehow uh, it says I wasn't able to broadcast. So I think we're on now. So welcome. It's Tuesday, 11 a.m. Every Tuesday at 11 I, Central Time, I host a live video, a free class for everybody with lots of tips. I love to share uh, tips that are to make stamping easier and more fun. So yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see if people are going to join me. Get my camera a little bit straighter here, maybe. There we go. I don't like to be crooked. <laughs> okay, let's see if I see any comments. So I know I live. There we are. Good morning, Doris. Thank you for letting me know I'm actually live and broadcasting. Yeah, I had a couple of fails when I started, so I'm a little bit late. I have lots to share today. There is a stamp sale happening yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Wednesday the 8th is the last day, and look at all of the stamp sets that are on sale and discounted 15%. So that can go anywhere from 25 down to 21, 20 to 17. Uh, let's see. Another price, 24 down to $20.40, 26 down to $22.10. There are tons, and these are all from the annual catalog. So if you still have a few stamp sets that you want, it might uh, be a good idea to check out your list, to go through the catalog again, to make sure you're not missing something that you could get while it's on sale. I'm going to highlight a few more in just a little bit. So go through a few more of the specials. Now there is a starter kit deal. So they added $30 in value to this to the kit. So instead of getting $125 in product, right now you get $125 in product in your starter kit for just $99. So you can pick out anything you want out of the online, the catalogs, um, and the clearance rack for uh, 155 or less. It can't be even a penny over. It just won't go through. Um, so it's a great deal. And I'd love to have you join my team. We have a great time. We, we do we have a lot of fun things happening in my team group. So um, anybody who's going to place an order, if you get above $75 in your order, you should really consider just putting in the order under a starter kit. And the thing is, it is just simply an order. It is, doesn't have to mean you're committing to anything. It just means you're going to get that good a deal, you know, $56 free for $99 free shipping. Um, and then you can do what you want later. You don't have to uh, sell, hold classes, uh, order any more. Some people just get the kit and then they are done. Other people will order more. So Stampin' Up! takes the chance that when you join with the starter kit that you're going to order more product. Some people do, some people don't. So ask me any questions. I would love to talk with you about that. Now there are still, um, our kits are on sale. And so there are, I don't know, uh, Let's see, there are nine per page and we have almost five pages. So there are a lot of kits. Now some of these are unavailable, others, oh goodness. Oh, we just had some birds hit our window and one looks like it's not gonna wake up. Oh, I hate that. Our windows are somewhat reflective and when there's a pile of birds in our backyard and they get scared, they hit our windows. You might've heard that bump, sorry. So sad, we have that happen a lot because we have a lot of birds, we feed them too. So uh, anyway, the kids collection goes through October and then we have our clearance rack. So there's still a bunch of items on the clearance rack. So uh, if you're placing an order, make sure you check it out. These are items uh, that uh, they have extra of from the last year, so yeah. Okay, all right, let's get into the inventory status report. So um, the red and white peppermints came back about a week ago or so, and then they were gone within hours. So check if you're, if you're on the hunt, and I had one gal uh, who was really, really wanting them, and she would check every single morning, and she got in and got a bunch. So, um, so yeah, if you're on the hunt for any of these things, be sure you check in because they can come back earlier than they say. 
a lot of things. Uh, the 14th, this, um, this week, we should be seeing a few things. The 14th, then we get the 21st. These are embellishments. These are designer papers. And these are dyes and masks. So, so not too bad of a list. They're catching up. They got a big shipment in and got a few more things that were on the list from last uh, week in this week. So, all right, let's get to door prizes. So last week I mentioned that somebody would be getting these uh, enamel dot essentials. There's a white bunch up here. And then the All About Autumn designer paper. I thought it was perfect to gift this away. This is a half pack of autumn paper. And the winners are, drum roll, we have Melinda Blevins and Deb Wallace. So Melinda won the gems and Deb won the designer paper. So I think I have their addresses. So if you know them or if you're watching, just confirm your, my, your address for me so I can send it to the right place. So congratulations and thank you so much for sharing and commenting. And even, even if you're just watching, just say hi. Say what you like, say what you're doing, where you're from. Love to, to see where everybody's from that is watching me. Okay, this week we have classic matte dots for uh, sharing, commenting, sorry. And then five fun fold cards. Now these are from one of my kits. These are all, well, actually this one is not a fun fold card. The rest are. This is from one of my uh, kits to go, the hot air balloon kit. So you'll get five ideas using um, my kit, my, these cards. Sometimes it helps to have them actually in your hand, you know, where you can measure and copy. So this is for sharing. So yeah, thank you. Thanks, Deb. Um, let's see. We'll move on to, I'm going to highlight some of the stamp sets that are on sale. Okay, so here is the Quiet Reflection, and I shared this card oh, a few months back. So this was a club card, I believe. So that's what we did. So beautiful um, double image, kind of reversible image that with great uh, greetings. Um, a lot of them are for uh, sympathy. So if you're in, in the need for a sympathy card or a set, that's a great one. Here is the Sweet Peas set. And I have a couple swaps that I received for that. So cute. And if you like to color, this is a great one for coloring. So uh, kind of a, uh, um, what is the word when they, oh, I'm sorry, that's reflecting, isn't it? Um, on the video. So, um, so yeah, really, really fun set. Then we have So Sincere. If you don't have this one yet, I would highly recommend it. The greetings are wonderful. I love the hope you're feeling better soon. You don't see many of those uh, stamps um, and just a lot of great um, greetings. Then we have, this was an online translucent florals. There were dyes. The dyes I believe sold out, but the stamp set is gorgeous. So that's on the list. Then we have Under the Moon, made this card um, a few months back as well. So easy to use. It has those distinctive uh, uh, images that show highs and lows with one stamp, stamping, one inking. Then we have The Grateful Blessings, such a pretty set. Just a little bit of florals, but some nice big greetings. Okay. And lastly, with images or with with um, examples, the Fields in Bloom made these cards a few months back as well. Great uh, two-step stamp. One is for the floral. One is for the greens. It works so uh, easily uh, together. So those are ones that I have samples for. Then I thought I would share some of my favorite greetings. Hopefully these will not be too reflective. That one might be a little bit. And then the comforting thoughts, another one that's great for sympathy. Love that I wish I could make this better. Um, wishing you comfort. A lot of, um, of nice greetings you would actually say. <laughs> 
idea. And like, I don't have all the right words to say. You know, sometimes they're just, thing, you know, tragedies and sad things happen. So, yeah. But those are all 15% off and marked down. So, so yeah. Great um, opportunities for getting a stamp set that is discounted rather than paying full price. Oh, now remember, this ends tomorrow, so Wednesday, the 8th, is the last day. All right, what am I forgetting? I think that might be it. We're going to move on. I'm going to highlight another set that is 15% uh, off. You know, I should know how much this one is. Let me see if I can find it amongst all these sets on sale. Of course, they're not printed off in alphabetical order. So bear with me just a moment. I should have looked that up. Happiest, happiest day. I had not used that. I actually received a cute card from Bobby Miller. What? Oh wait, there it is. So it was 20, now it's 17. So it has really cute two-step images. It's got a sun and a dragonfly and then this rainbow that's really cute too. So I'm gonna show you, first I'm gonna show you some, um, some cards we're not making today. Now this is Bobby's card. Now she inspired me. I've been wanting to play with this set and she inspired me. Look how cute. She just trimmed off a little bit of her side and added some designer paper and double and then brought in the colors. You see how she brought in two colors by adding gems of one tone, designer paper, ink of the other tones. So great way to add, like basically there's three colors here, black, um, probably daffodil, and maybe Berbuna Bay, it could be Coastal Cabana. But just sticking with two colors plus a neutral like black or white really does um, give you a cohesive card. Wednesday's the 9th. Thank you, Doris. Today's the 8th. Sorry. Thank you for the heads up there. Now, I created this card yesterday. <clears throat> I really wanted to use that. You make me feel like glitter in the sun because we have so much fun glittery stuff. So I just stamped different colored suns in the background and a, um, I think the postage dies and then added an extra few suns in the center. Now the designer paper that I used, pull this out, is the Full of Life. So that one, it's hard to know, it could be this, yes, this one. So yeah, that's a, that's one example I was playing with. It was really hard to stop. When I was playing, I was like, oh, what do I wanna make? And then I started playing and it was hard to stop because I love two-step stamps. So I didn't even use them all. I didn't even add the arrows or the rainbows in these cards. So um, you'll be seeing more in just a moment here. Okay, first card, very, very simple, but fun. And this could also have that glittery, uh, glitter greeting. So this is a birthday card. So I'll scoot that over here and we'll get started. So this is the deckled rectangles and I use some of our in color glimmer paper. So pretty, I don't use it often enough. One thing, um, the way I store my 12 by 12, it's not with my uh, cardstock. And so I don't, I, I reach more for stamping with cardstock than I do designer paper. I have to actually work sometimes to use designer paper. I'm more a heavy stamper uh, than I am using designer paper. Uh oh, where is my greeting? Hmm. I had one, hold on, let me look for that little round greeting. It didn't come out with the card. Oh, I see it. It got stuck with the rhinestones. Okay, we're gonna start with stamping. Move my layers away. Okay, I like that, you're the best, because that could be for anything. That could be for a thank you, that could be for a birthday. Congratulations. Okay. And then on the inside, we're going to stamp the happy birthday. Oh, better get 
my inside over here. Black and white is kind of a mm, little bit scary sometimes when you're um, stamping. You make sure your fingers don't get, have you ever done that? You'll see my next card, I have a little blooper on the inside. But I decided to leave it because it's good for people to see that um, not everybody's perfect. I like to show that to my customers. Now what I did with the inside here, see those little hearts? That is from the uh, Humble Home Punch. See that little heart right there? So I punched little bits of the glimmer paper. I thought that was a cute little addition to the inside. Okay, so we'll set that aside and stamp. This is gonna go about here. So we're gonna stamp a few of these cute dragonflies. I love the kind of the playfulness of the dragonfly. It's, it's just kind of a modern take that I really appreciate. Okay, so I think we're done with, oh wait, I was gonna do one on the inside. I'll do one up here. Okay. All right, done with black. It's always nice to close that black ink up. Okay, our colors here are, are uh, pretty peat, Pretty in Pink, Peach Pie, and Petunia Pop. So I usually start with the lightest color first. I don't have to uh, clean quite as much if I do that. Now, there is a right and a wrong way to stamp these. And so uh, the large one is just a little bit different than, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this card and do the lightest on the top. And you know, if you don't hit it perfectly, I just use a little marker, either blends or regular marker to hit the white part. So, and then this one is easy to see which way it is because it kind of hangs down a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go into the Petunia Pop because I don't have to clean this in between because I'm going from a light pink to a darker pink. Okay, make sure I have this still the right way. I no, it's just slightly off. There we go. Okay, and right away, because that's purple, I'm going to clean that. Got my chamois up here out of the screen. Um, purple stains so easily on our photopolymer stamps. And I stamp off before I rub into my chamois. Okay, that's enough of the petunia. Then we're going to go to Peach Pie, which is probably my favorite of these colors. How many of you like two-step stamps? I really, really like them, especially when they're clear. <laughs> I'm so glad we have uh, clear stamps nowadays instead of just uh, red rubber when you're doing two-step. We used to have to use, how many of you remember the Stamparatus? Yeah, the Stamparatus um, was a, we had a love-hate relationship with that thing. I know some people used it all the time. When you do something like that, you get you get good at it. When, you're, when you use it a lot, it's kind of like fussy cutting or coloring. The more you do, the better you get. So yeah, all right. Use my bone folder again. Put this card together. And I could have added a lot more to this layer um, with some of that. I never did use this, which I really like, but I didn't use that. Um, so we're going to, this is kind of how I like to do this. I love diagonal. So what I'm going to do is lay that there and then add glue. I don't like to hold gluey things. So I usually put my glue on the paper instead of the smaller item. So then I'm just going to follow that. 
and oops, don't get in there. And I like to leave a little space. I tried it next to each other, butt up against each other, and it wasn't as attractive. So just adding a little bit of space between them. Uh, these are about maybe three eighths. I do not measure. I kind of use my paper trimmer and just go with whatever I cut first, and then I continue cutting. All right, so then turn it over. It helps, uh, helps you to get, um, that must have got a little sticky. Helps you to get right up next to the project. Okay, now, It's such a simple, simple card. You could mass produce this one very easily. One die cut. Now you could easily pop one. I considered stamping a separate one and popping up the wings so it would it would pop up and have a little more dimension, but I kept it very simple. So um, just gonna the next card is a little bit more um, a little bit more fussy, so you'll see. And then we're just going to finish with rhinestones. I used to take your pick tool with the putty end. I love using the putty end because it just sticks and I don't have to fling it across the room with a, a poker or a bone folder or a scissors or anything. It just sticks. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. You just twist it and it brings up a little bit more. Now I have had recently a customer say, mine will not twist and she brought it to me and it wouldn't twist up to get more and I've had that happen. It was because it was old. It just um, got too hard inside. So then you just get a replacement. I think they're $5 for two fillers. Um, so very easy to get a replacement. But that's the first card. So hope you like it. I think it's gorgeous. I love those colors together. Some of my favorites from the in colors last year. Okay, next, I saw a card similar to this online and I had to do, oh no, you know what I did? I forgot to fussy cut, but we will do part of it. So here is the card. Have you ever done a card like this where you stamp and then trim? And here I was going to have this all done. See, here's my little, I had ink on my fingers, got a little bit on there. So isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So what I did, I was going to do this ahead of time, was I stamped three of them and then I was going to trim. So, um, well, I'll finish stamping and then we'll do the trimming. Okay, back to our black ink. I'm going to scoot this over here so it's out of the way of my black ink. So when you're doing this, you just want to get your your uh, dragonflies close enough to each other uh, so you can fussy cut around them. So now here I want to angle this last one so it basically is on the edge of the card. So that's that's what you do. Now when, let me just make sure, we'll do, we'll do our, the rest of our stamping while we have this here, this is my two inch strip of designer paper. I wanna be sure that there's enough room for my greeting here. Thinking of you today and every day. And another dragonfly. I think this one I'll do down here. Okay. All right, and lastly, we have a birthday image. Wishing you the happiest birthday. Okay, I'll we'll scoot that away. Okay, all right. Stamping is done, well, the black is done. Okay, so how I did, um, show you just with the, the peach, peach pie color. 
So let me tell you my colors. So on the bottom is Melon Mambo, and this one I stamped fully. And then here I stamped off. So once I stamped the large wing, I went right to this wing without re-inking. Same with the small wing. And then the light pink is the Pretty in Pink. And then the top two are uh, the Peach Pie. So remember how many colors of ink. I could get at least three, maybe four hues of ink with this one color. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is a neat idea, isn't it, Marla? I love that cutting. But some people do not like the uh, fussy cutting. So this is only for certain people who do not mind. <laughs> All right. Oh, I better check to see. Yeah, I think that works. So I'm going to do full strength here. Oh, I think I was off just a little. Yes, I was. So we'll just go up because I didn't bring my markers. And now I'm going to stamp off and do this upper dragonfly with the lighter. Oh, that did not have much color. I thought I had more. That's a little bit better. All right, then we'll do the lower. Somehow, look at the difference in the colors, but I know ink does fade. So now we can go right over here. I'm gonna huff this time. And it should be a little bit brighter. No, it isn't, that is so weird. I did not huff on that one. Okay, that's better. All right, so I'm cleaning my inks or my stamps in my chamois off screen. Oh, we want to add, since I have this color, I'm going to go ahead and do the peach pie. It's such a fun set to do and you can see right through, so it's very easy. All right, so now when you are fussy cutting, I, like I said, I wanted to do half this with, um, before I got on the video. Because it was, it's a little challenging, I won't lie. It's not easy, especially when you're dealing with this long um, piece here. So I'm gonna just go up close to that little um, dragonfly body, I guess you'd say. And I'm twisting my paper. You don't wanna twist your scissors, because that gets awkward. And you can see my paper is moving, my scissors is holding fairly steady. So it, you know, white, um, this, I use thin, regular white cardstock because the thick can get a little bit harder to cut. Now, if you want to cut right on the black, that's a little bit easier. Sometimes I like to leave a little bit of white and that gets a little bit more noticeable when you're fussy cutting. So I'm not gonna go all the way up into that wing. It really isn't that noticeable if you take nice, um, smooth cuts. Now this is where it gets, I'm going to cut this all the way off just so I have less to deal with. Now you can see it's not taking that long. I'm, not, I'm done with three and on my fourth, Dragonfly. I'm not rushing too much. I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna finish it. Hope you guys have some patience with me. Don't go away. I'll be done in a second. Well, maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> I actually do not mind fussy cutting. I find it somewhat relaxing. I know some people absolutely do not like it whatsoever. So when you get to the end, just make a nice little curve. You don't have to do anything fancy. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, yeah, that little um, wing there. And then we simply, now actually without paper, it's really quite noticeable, but I really like the, the um, gradual color change. I think it goes so well with these, um, these dragonflies that I stamped. Okay, now how I did the, um, the gems, we'll start with that, because they're fun. I did use blends markers and colored them with, I think it was um, Melon Mambo and Pretty in Pink and then uh, Peach Pie. So we're going to add, oops, excuse me, 
lid off a colored rhinestone to each one of these dragonflies. I think that's a nice little touch. I did not remember to bring, well, that one's a little bit off, to bring my Wink of Stella. Come on, you. So I would, th I think that waking these wings would really uh, make them a lot prettier. So I will probably do that after the video. Okay, this is our striped sheer glittery trim. It's in the annual catalog. And what I like to do is use my, my tape runner, my seal. And I don't usually trim my ribbon until I'm ready. So I'm just gonna do a little loop kind of bring it down to where I think. I just want a little bit. And then press that ribbon on there. Just a little, I'm gonna center that a little bit better. There we go. And then trim the ends. So, Easy way to use your uh, your ribbon, and then add dimensionals. I kind of like to stagger them and hit a little ribbon and a little cardstock so it double holds the ribbon um, on here. There you go, and you can add a few more rhinestones, scattered rhinestones, if you like to. So who would take on the challenge? Yeah, it is awesome ribbon, Doris. You're right, it is one. It is um, a lovely ribbon. It's very thin and it just, it's iridescent, so it goes with about any color. Um, I see a lot of greens and maybe blues in there, but it honestly goes with any one, any one of these colors. So who would do one of these cards? I'm curious, who would take on the challenge of fussy cutting these dragonflies. Or you could do butterflies, you do flowers. It would be, you would do it, Doris, awesome. Awesome, yeah, it is really fun. I'm glad, Joan, you're gonna try it too, great. I would love to see you guys share your idea, your card on the Flower Bug Stamp and Share. So whatever stamps that you use, share with us and show us what you did. Okay, that is it for uh, the video today, I do want to remind everybody that if you're interested in my kits to go, I still have some left. This is the kit for the, what is this one? The, huh, it's on the inventory status report. A little bit festive. So these are the cards. And remember this one is a kit with, uh, Kind of die cut pieces that you don't need to do a whole lot to make these cards but they're so cute a lot of them are gift card holders so this is that kit i use the christmas labels but you and you can add that on to the kit for an extra 10 percent off if you want that and you can choose the bundle as well for an extra 10 percent off now my second kit is the um elegant let's see season of elegance and that is uh, multiple fun folds, many gift cards as well. This one, I love, love, love this one. So pretty. So if you haven't seen these yet, I shared them last month, last week, I should say. Um, these are my two kits and I do have limited supply of them. That one comes with the cherry cobbler and gold ribbon and the gold textured dots. So they each come with either twine and, and gems or ribbon and gems plus a half a pack of the designer paper. So yeah, let me know. It's all it's all available right now on my shop. So I still have a few, quite a few left. But um, once it goes out on my blog this week, which will be probably Thursday, Friday, then things can go fast. So, um, so yeah, we'll, um, go ahead and sign up. And when you order more than one kit and you, you do save on shipping. So I just want to say that there's Shipping is priority and they ship out at the end of the month and you'll get your tutorial emailed to you right after your purchase. And, and that tutorial includes a link to the video. I'm doing exclusive videos now on making my cards that only people who have ordered either the kit or the tutorial will receive. 
So, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Doris. I know you love my kits. I appreciate that. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. All right, take care. Bye-bye.